CC foes. How do they do it? Well, they don't back down. This is the challenger that steps in the ring and goes for it. They're going to try to take Duke's head off tonight by throwing haymakers. They will not just try to keep this one clo clo cl uh, close, Chris. We're underway here at Durham High Point, winning the draw. Brings to the table Brennan O'Neill. That could go on and on with the talent of this Duke team, and we will. Another draw won by High Point. Will they try streak? alive and Inside well to find the bubbles in the defense to find those gaps in those spaces and then he converts he keeps it pretty simple subtle eye and head fakes to goaltenders dan o'connell winning the draw for duke he's taken all of their draws so far in this game that's five face-offs in a row now dan o'connell had a, got off to a slow start tonight but he has certainly he picked things the level up. and shoots towards one of the lower corners, making that the most difficult save for the goaltender. Fourth different goal score for Duke. And think about it, he was really coming on last year. He got off to a slow start first couple of games. Then he exploded. Now you have COVID cancellation. And then you have Sowers transferring in. Robertson healthy really again. Deep on offense. Syracuse has a lot of depth. Uh, and, and so does Duke. And they're showing it. Depth of the faceoff hex as well. So we're seeing Naso, although he gets beat here in high point. Now we'll try and go quickly. Man, my. Get in front. Get in front now. Get in front of the net now. O'Connell back at the faceoff hex. As the finals. Well, I judge him by the music that he comes on our conference <laughs> calls with or our Zoom calls with. And this week it was Bruce Springsteen's Human Touch. He felt it was fitting of the pandemic. That's something you don't see very often. A wrestling match this year with the new face-off rules. O'Connell is able to uh, keep it in bounds. Looked like initially the high point was going to get possession, but now it's the Blue Devils. Coach Danowski started Club. off the most hyped freshman that I can recall, Chris, since I've been covering the sport. Naso now winning it to himself. Will he take a shot? Gets it out to O'Neal. He fires and hits the I was most impressed with the hustle plays he made. Chris, the ground balls, the riding. And now we're seeing his offensive game just skyrocket. Davis Sampier shooting. winning before finally O'Neal said, well, I want to shoot it behind the back. So Dino said, then shoot it behind the back. And I don't give Alongside that. guys like Max Quinzani, Zach Greer, and Justin Gutterding. His willingness to play team offense swing, Chris, just like a slap shot. Boom, the ball's out, and it's sudden. Makes the goalie's job much harder. O'Connell again. Will he take a shot? He will. Just over the top of Arcona that time. Low when he shoots that shot. I mean, he's 5'9", 165 pounds, listed. But it seems like if you're a goaltender, you can't even see him until it's already released. Foxborough, he's got that Patriot jersey. Last time uh, Duke played in a championship weekend. Craft organization got him a Patriots game jersey. He's height from his mom who played volleyball at ECU. Good win on the X by Colin Hoban. He's doing a pretty good job holding the zone tonight. And Rogers had 183 points at Lynchburg. I mean, the guy filled it up. Rogers' dad, John, they called him Rocket Rogers, was a good LSM back in the day for, I think, F and M. Very like stylish, relaxing with Peacock. No, and much improved from, you know, game one that we saw against Denver where they beat the Pios by two goals. The, the pieces are starting to fit of this puzzle. And, you know, that attack unit that's been defense. so productive. Times it was, it was Sowers in the slot. Great team offense. Third assist of the night for Nikai Montgomery. Third goal for Sowers. Colin Hoban, who's done yeoman's work at that face-off X. That's really been a bright spot tonight for Coach Torpy. Some positive for them here in the third quarter. Jordan Ginder taking this draw for Duke. I 
we got an injured player here for high point on they that hop on a bus and and so i love it because it shows flexibility agility uh in, in this COVID era and and that's where you come up with solutions and lacrosse is better for john torpy scheduling these games two goes quickly to a tough angle out on the wing he, like Sowers tonight and throughout his whole career, we've seen he scores from a variety of different spots. Tur Turner Upgren now in goal for the Blue Devils. Season, right? Yeah, seen a lot of that tonight. On the bench. It was Nakai Montgomery giving him a hug, and I thought it was interesting what Coach Janowski talked about Nakai's leadership at practice. They called him a Matt Danowski clone. I praise. And lacrosse is a third grader. He's a really good golfer. What I like about his lacrosse game, Chris, we were talking about before the game, he sees guys open. Like, he can forecast player movement, like almost like a quarterback does in football. Yeah, some of the passes he has made this year, you know, guys not even close to being open when Ten he really minutes at a time. That's a big, big, big boost with this offense that can just uh, steamroll you. Game was 2-2 early on, and Duke held high point scoreless for over 20 minutes in this game while they got it rolling on that side of the field. O'Neal, Robertson, Sowers, you name it. That's right across from Detroit. You ever been there, Cotter? I have. They call, they call this guy Mayo. Played for the Windsor Clippers. Yep. Indoor. Going with Ginder at the faceoff X as well. A.J. Kiernan for high point. Who does he remind you of, Q? Does he remind you of Cloutier? Just size, and to your point, he has the tricks. Quick goal by Basile. It's down to you know, paint in low corners. They put in the time. They really emphasize the proper tech shoot, shooting technique. Over the weekend, Georgetown travels to Denver. Okay? The Hoyas are ranked as high as four in some polls. Denver's got two losses. Remember, early in the year, we showed some games where Denver came east to the Carolinas. Like my favorite live stream announcers, the Jersey guys. <laughs> Bada boom, boom, St. Bada Anne's Belfield in Charlottesville. He shot it, and you're turning and raking. It's not a good good day. But the, Keller, the freshman from Illinois. Barely. I mean, you were rocking a mullet. Yeah, you were rocking a mullet and sweats, if I remember I didn't have correctly. A mullet until like 88, summer of 88. <laughs> uh, March 24th, 1986, they hammered Michigan State 27-3. Oh, Michigan State. We scrimmaged them back in the day. Bring back lacrosse, Spartans. Come on. Sparty won the MCLA national title a couple of years ago. Sparty. They're red.